go into some detailed explanations now on route running. Uh, there are a lot of different pass routes that a receiver runs. So a great receiver who, who, uh, who separates himself from other receivers is a guy who can come to a stop from full speed in about three steps. And you want to make sure that you're running up a defensive back's toes. You want to push him vertically for as long as you can because you want to try and open him up. He's not going to be leaning back. If you lean back when you try to stop, you get your feet out in front of the center of gravity of your body, nine times out of ten, you're going to slip. Your feet will come out from underneath you. You see how low he gets? The lower you get, the better. I mean, I've told guys before, I want you so low that you can almost touch the grass. He's going to be, as he's breaking down, he's turning his head. and He's, already, he's starting to take a peek. Now, you'll hear a lot of coaches say, don't turn your head before, uh, before you turn in on the route. That's completely wrong. If I cock that plant foot at a 45, I've already opened the hips. You can see right here, my hip, hips are ready to open and face the quarterback. Because in a, in a good system, if the quarterback and the receiver are doing it right, that ball is going to be halfway there by the time he turns to make the catch. Okay. So getting that head around and getting a peak really soon while that ball is on its you know, halfway there, allows me to come out of my break and step to the football wherever it may be thrown. When you attack a defensive back's outside, outside shoulder, it gets him to tend to want to open this way. Once that DB turns and does this, really difficult for him to make a play on a route that's pushing back to the inside. I've seen a guy who knows how to do that really well turn a five, six yard gain into a long one. And he's, if he's moving to that football, he catches it and then he comes back the other direction with it. That's how, you got, that's how you make uh, a guy miss. The bottom line is on a comeback route, we're attacking the sidelines, and we're attacking the sidelines in a 45 degree angle out of our breaking point. It's a route that usually we want to throw if we're trying to get a first down at a particular point, if we're trying to make a catch and get out of bounds. When we run a speed cut, we're not breaking down. We're maintaining our speed through the route. Everything is always done off of a plant foot. If I'm running a route to the outside, my plant foot or, or my power foot or my foot that creates the transition will be this foot, my, the inside foot. If I'm running a route to the inside, it'll be my outside foot. So we're all roll out of it like this, and I'm automatically in a trail position that way. And if the ball's thrown the right way, where it's already in the air by the time he's created this kind of a cushion right off the bat, you can't defend it. I'm gonna throw the ball so that it's vertical and a little bit lateral, and he's gonna work to the outside on a fade away from him. Very, very difficult for him to cover that. 